Uh, hi there, uh, welcome to this uh, training program on uh, computer and communication network. So today's session would be the uh, introduction to the uh, computer and communication network. Uh, this is uh, Balu here, uh, your trainer for the rest of the course. Now uh, let me quickly take you to the uh, session objective. So what do we have in agenda for today? Uh, we are going to look at uh, three main important things. One is uh, we are going to see what a computer network is and uh, we are going to uh, bisect the computer network into number of elements and see what are the various elements which uh, basically comprises the computer network and finally we will look into internet and see an overview of what an internet is. So let's get going. Uh, first let's understand uh, uh, the basics of networking. In order to understand the basics of networking we need to uh, know few terms and uh, those terms are very simple. The first term you need to know is what is called as a system. Now what exactly is a system? A system is nothing but it's a collection of uh, components as simple as it is uh, which basically receives an input and gives me an output. Now uh, you will be using uh, systems on a day to day basis. For example, one solid example what I can give you is the calculator what you use. Now calculator is a simple system where it receives an input and gives me an output. So for example, if you want to add or multiply or divide numbers, what you basically do is you key in those numbers with the respective operation and the calculator will give me the result. So it receives an input and gives me an output. Now one more example uh, you can think of as a uh, printer basically. What exactly a printer does? The printer will take a print command as an input and it will give me the printed document as an output. So a printer is also an example of a system. A simple system could be, you know, switching off and switching on the light. Suppose if you want to switch on the light, you switch on the uh, switch and automatically what happens, the bulb glows. So you have an input and you have an output. So anything which basically receives an input and gives me an output is called a system. Now these are some examples of uh, physical systems. Now I can tell you some more examples of systems like you have an academic system. Now what is an academic system? You are all studying in a college or university. So what the university does, it will take students as an input and it will produce uh, graduates as an output. So that is also an example of an system. So now a system is basically a collection of components which basically uh, accepts some input and it will give me some output. Now what is important is you need to understand the different types of uh, system. So there are two different types of systems uh, which are very commonly used. The uh, one is called as an uh, open system and the second one is called as a closed system. Now that you have understand, uh, the, understood the meaning of a system, we shall go and define what an open system is. An open system is a system where two or more systems are connected together. Now uh, since we are talking about computer and communication networks, so we will limit our discussion to systems only on computers and its computer peripherals. So when two or more computers are connected together, it becomes an open system. Now the question is, what is the necessity to connect two or more computers together? The basic necessity for connecting two or more computers together is to exchange information or to share data. So when we connect two or more systems together and we exchange or share information from them, then we call those systems as an open system. Now the second type of system is called as a closed system. Now what do you mean by a closed system? A closed system is a system which is not connected to any other system. Uh, it is also called a standalone system. For example, you have a PC at home and your PC is not connected to a Wi-Fi router or it is not connected to internet, then we say that that PC is a standalone PC. So such system is called as a closed system. A closed system will not have the capability of uh, you know sending and receiving information from a different system. So sharing is not a problem. So in case of an open system, you can basically share information and in case of a closed system, you will not be able to share or receive information. So when we talk of an open system, we think of computer networks. So when you want to come, when you want to basically connect two or more systems together, then we are actually visualizing the concept of a computer network. So a computer network is nothing but visualization of an open system where you are connecting two or more computers together. So now, once you have understood this concept of open system and closed system, we will define what a computer network is. So now we can see the definition of a computer system. It is a collection of uh, uh, 
computer system is a collection of network devices, peripherals connected to one another to allow sharing of data. Now, when I mean connection of computer systems and collection of computer systems, it doesn't mean that only computers are connected. It could be all other accessories of computers also. You can have computers connected to a printer, you can have computers connected to a router, you can have computers connected to a bridge, you can have computers connected to a switch. Now all these are you know the various uh, peripherals which actually comes along with the computer system. So when you connect all these things together, it becomes a computer network. Now what is the number one objective of uh, connecting systems in a computer network? The number one objective is basically to send and receive information which means you will be able to exchange the data. Now that is one of the main objective of a computer network. Now uh, in order to connect the computers together in a computer network you need to have certain elements which are very important. Now I have segregated these elements into four sections. Uh, the section one is a hardware section, the section two is a software section, then you have a protocol section, then you have a communication media section. Now what exactly is a hardware section? In the hardware section you have servers, you have clients, you have bridges, you have routers, you have hubs and switches. Now any physical components which are basically used to uh, connect the computers in a computer network, they are all coming in the hardware section. So you have servers, for example, it could be a file server or a database server, you have clients, you could have a thick client or a thin client, you have bridges, routers and hubs. So what are all these things, uh, we shall see that in the succeeding sessions. But just now understand that all these components are hardware components uh, which are basically used for connecting computers together in a computer network. Then hardware uh, on its own does not have any identity unless and until somebody drives it. Just like an operating system uh, drives a computer, similarly you have a software called a network operating system if you want to make your computer work on a network system. So we also call it as an NOS and solid examples of network operating systems could be uh, Linux, Unix, etc. So we'll talk about that uh, later in the succeeding session but right now understand that you need to have a network operating system in order to you know, connect computers together. And there needs to be certain protocols. Now what are protocols? Protocols are nothing but rules and regulations. Now there are some protocol standards. For example, you have a OSI model which stands for Open System for Interconnection. And you also have a model called TCPIP model which is called the Transmission Control Protocol Internet Protocol model. So each model will have different layers and there are different mechanisms which actually work on these layers. We have a separate uh, session on that and how these models work. Now just now understand that uh, one of the uh, predominant element for connecting the computers together would be a protocol. And how do you connect, connect computers together? You need to have a media of communication, we call it as a communication media. So this can be again uh, broadly classified as you know guided media and unguided media. So you have coaxial cables, you have fiber optic cables, you have wireless transmissions. So these are some of the uh, communication media what we have in order to you know connect computers together in a computer network. So once you understand the elements of a computer network, you can actually pictorially represent that in the form of a picture here. Now you can see here, you have different computers connected together. You have workstation uh, 1, you have workstation 2, you have workstation 3, then you have a file server here. Now workstation is nothing but a client. So you have a file server here. Now these file servers are connected to your workstation via a bridge. Now the bridge is connected to your router, a router is connected to the internet. Then you have a repeater. A repeater is basically a device which will amplify your signals. So like this, you have uh, various elements of uh, you know computer networks which are connected together. Now when you put all together, it becomes a computer network. And more importantly, the router is connected to the internet. Now what is internet? Internet itself is a huge network. Internet is called as a network of network of networks. So today, you know the internet has been leaps and bounds. I will just give you an idea of how many systems are connected to the internet shortly but now right now understand that internet is a huge collection of networks or it is the combination of multiple networks put together. Now knowing the elements of network, now we shall see what an internet does. As I told you, internet is a collection of networks 
there are multiple devices which are connected to the network and as per the uh, Cisco IBSG that is uh, International uh, uh, Business Solution Group of Cisco predicts that there are around 50 billion systems connected by 2020. Now that is huge, humongous. Uh, do you know what how much 1 billion is? The 1 billion is almost, if I am not wrong, it's around 100 crores. So just imagine how 50 billions could be, 50 billions could be 15 to 100 crores. It's around 5,000 crores of system connected on the internet. Now that's huge, you just can't, can't even imagine. And moreover, it is scaling day by day. Now just imagine it is scaling day by day. That means uh, when you are talking about uh, say somewhere in uh, 2030 or 2040, there could be around uh, 200 to 300 billions of computers connected on the internet. So internet is a huge repository of information. Uh, internet is growing uh, day by day. So you can call internet as a collection of network. Now having said that, uh, we will just uh, close this particular session for today. Uh, in today's session we understood uh, uh, what is a computer network and what are the elements of a computer network. Uh, we also saw uh, an overview of uh, what an internet is. I will see you in the next session uh, with more details. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.